and uh, when I'm sharing it with the community, uh, lions, syringes, it was very difficult to impart that idea that when we wrote out the constitution and bylaws for the Talon for Rangers, we were in that uh, understanding that everything that we do would be on uh, regards to the community. And that encompasses all the different uh, programs. So, uh, 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 environment, uh, the blind, all of those things, it would be under community base. So I'm sharing that again with the intent to all of the group. So that's why when you see me, I'm, I'm usually alone because of that uh, uh, stipulation in our constitution. But already though, I'm trying to break that because uh, we started out with a branch club, uh, which is the FAS, the uh, Federal States of the Micronesia. And hopefully they'll be doing the orientation soon here. Now that group uh, is also in part of what they're doing as an organization for the, you know, the FSM. But they have, they have participated in helping clean up this area here. They have come and bush cut, pick up trash. And basically that's what I wanted to impart with them as part of their, their uh, signature project is dealing with the youth, bring those youth in and have them participate in clean up here and doing what other resources uh, uh, they can do. Uh, because I, I said that once we get all of these things ready, they can come in and do a lot of the sports rather than paying uh, you know, the uh, sports arena down at they did thing. I said, well, you can come to our park and use the park as your, uh, you know, your play area for those students or children that are under the FAS uh, uh, athletic group. No? Uh, we are still working on, of course, the uh, facilities to upgrade the facilities. And I was sharing this with uh, uh, Vice Minister Governor Art that this uh, League One Park uh, belongs to Parks and Rec. So uh, GPA cannot come in and work on the lights unless they get the permission from Parks and Rec. So we're in the process of trying to get that uh, set so that once uh, uh, that happens no, and Parks and Rec uh, exchanges uh, that uh, stipulation and gives it to, uh, to GPA, then GPA can come in and, and fix the, you know, the power source. Uh, this was turned off under again under the leadership of PDG Art. This was on uh, since 2000, back in 2009, 2019, yeah. Yeah. right? So it was cut off after you know uh, after that, and uh, so we're in that area now. We're trying to see if we can get them again back to helping us. But this part belongs to Parks and Rec, and GPA cannot come in. I know that PDG Herbie has already spoken to the mayor of of uh, Dedo, um Savaris, <laughs> and she is, of course, uh, she had an accident a couple months back, and she's recovering. But it will take a while, also. Uh, and I'm use, we are using the school as an uh, as an advantage, you know, that those students there, you know, when it's a fire drill, they can use this area here to bring those students here for safety. And at the same time, when they have a sports day, they can bring them over here. So these are the things that you know we're looking into to help us with uh, you know the maintenance, taking care of the maintenance. It is sad that uh, we gave hints to our IPD, IPDG to at least help us. No, but mind you, and I hope uh, fellow lions know that when you get to become one of the officers or you know to. Because this is, it doesn't mean that it's just a signature project for one governor. No, we're all under the Lions Club. So whatever projects we have, we are supposed to support that project. But some, we need to break that uh, mold that's just because you are the governor and you did this, is, that's yours already. And we cannot touch that, no? That's the brain or the mentality that I see that's happening and we shouldn't because we're all under District 204 Lions Club organization. So I hope that with your help to you share, no? that when you have a project, we always invite other Lions to come and assist. So it should be a joint venture for all of us as Lions. This is a big area and I can sense PDG art because I could hear him saying that the mower is broken, 
or he wants to send people to clean or to cut, but because of the limited resources, it's very difficult. And, uh, you know, we just hope and pray that things would be different. So I'm going to ask each and every one of you throughout your, throughout your year, as much as possible, man, let's share, uh, you know, the help, the responsibility. Because, I mean, go around the island, you don't see any monuments or what about the lions kind of thing, no? We have one that has been erected, but it looks as though that we are set segregated, no, or separated from the <coughs> others. Just because one person does this, instead of coming together, holding hands, and let's enjoy, because this is us. When we talk about lions, and I always share this in our, in our, in my presentation or in my training, no? we are mirrors. People look at us, and of course, if our organization is going to be strong, <coughs> we need to also show them an image that we are lions, just as strong. When you look at your shirt, the faces of the lion is both past and present. Because during that time, back in 1917, they were just as strong as right? a new group. And they're even stronger. So we should embellish that as a group and join that bandwagon and say, we're going to make it stronger. I know PDG Art, PDG Herbie, PDG Annabelle has done so much in trying to get things together to get this working. It's a big park, no? and we need everybody's help. And it's not just one person or one club. We got the six club and through your courtesy, and we thank you so much because it takes a lot of effort from all of you six now to come together. So, so I hope that we can get that uh, way of thinking and say, this is Lions, let's join together and help because we're all doing the same thing. So uh, that's my, my, my beef regarding our club. It just so happens that when we did the community base, it was just for the community of Talapopo. So hopefully maybe in the, new, in the new future, that can be different. But yet the FAS group that we're going to do will be the one to help uh, with this uh, park here. And I'm also the person to encourage the president right, to, to as part of the signature project. Because we have the facility, I mean the area, and if we can help and boost it up, no, then we can even be stronger. But we all need everybody's help and input. Thank you. I know you had your hand up. Please share. You actually answered my question already. Oh, okay. You answered one of my questions, but I have another question. Sure. Um, the question I have is the writing more that's being used. Um, where did the funds come from to purchase that writing more? So during my term as governor, that we bought that out of our uh, fundraising, which is. Uh, uh, which is uh, specifically the Mr. and Miss Lions Club International District 204. So that's where. So does that belong to so the? Does the writing more belong to the district? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, and that makes sense to ask yeah. for assistance. But it is under my my custody because you know yes. whenever we need it here, and we only use it for this part. No, I'm not mm -hmm. my my uh, my property is just too small for it. For it to necessitate the use of a riding mower, I only use a. <laughs> 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 anyway, I, I get it. I get it. But were any other equipment purchased? Um, yeah, we have, that? we have the bush cutter, oh. a nice and strong bush cutter, and we have a blower. Okay. So we have three machines. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> okay. And all are in working condition except the riding mower. The riding mower just need that um, pulley, and then the. The very in it uh, cost. I already paid for it forty-six dollars already from ERC. It should be coming in two to three weeks, they say. So hopefully, in about a month time, our riding mower will be, you know, riding mm -hmm. riding gear and cutting our mowing our load. So okay, uh, thank you, go, uh, Goring, on that information that you have just shared with us. Thank you. But more particularly. On the Rangers, Talapopo Rangers, we understand that she's a government position. But then, yeah, go. In regards to the uh, Talapopo Rangers, that's part of their their bylaws that it's a community based. Uh, however, PDG Goring is paying for the share here. Each of us PDGs are assessed twenty dollars a month. 
for this uh, project here. So we need our every month aside from our crop. And the other thing is anyone that wants to know that the equipment that was bought on the district fund for this project is in the uh, district in the It's listed in the district in the It doesn't belong to Art Navarro. He's being housed and he's been doing repairs to it because, you know, the wear and tear. Remember, it's, the equipment is only last for five years, no more than that. But so far, we continue, that's why we PDGs here have agreed to be paying additional out of the clock assessment. So I think the uh, the only re the only problem that I see with uh, IPDG Sumi is that she does because this is not a district project. That's why she didn't allocate any money, but. You know, it shows that the uh, equipment belongs to the district. <coughs> because uh, considered, however, like I said, um, because it was undertaken by the six club, that's why it's not considered a district. <coughs> Me, when the district have a project, I know it's not required because of the. Uh, you don't want to get uh, leave any. Uh, obligation to the incoming but for the pride of the district the lions because we're all one lion to one district to four I think if we see that the project is very feasible very accessible to the community we should at least look at that first however the way I see this and this is my personal feeling and I don't care who hear me I don't care who who don't like it or who likes it but you know, as a lion, we always say we're family, but it seems like every change of administration, there's no such animal as that. So we all work together. That's why when uh, they didn't accept to, to accept this project during after PDG Arts time, we went ahead and amend the contract with Parks and Recreation for the six club to come in and undertake the maintenance of this uh, project. And the governor's office, the lieutenant governor's office, the island beautification task force was very um, grateful and thankful for us to continue. We spent a lot of money here because of those uh, lions that are defaced, and we have to continue putting it back you know, into perspective. But like I said, if we really, if we really have pride with our organization, we should continue working together because it's not for one individual to, to get a credit, it's for everyone. It's not only one. Every time they say legal part, like I said, I was even asked at the mayor's council, can the lion sponsor some other villages? I said, I'm sorry, because we have to fundraise, we have 